Sketch the curve by using the parametric equations to plot points. Notice that it says plot points, but uh, uh, we have to start somewhere and end somewhere. I have t equals negative 1 to 2. Uh, the problem did not say anything, as you can see in the table. I have to start somewhere and stop somewhere, because it's going to end up a straight line that is endless. Indicate with an arrow the direction in which the curve is traced as t increases. And part b eliminate the parameter to find the Cartesian equation of the curve. Let's get started. As you can see, I have everything ready to go. I just need to fill the table, plot the points, connect them, and show the arrow on the graph for part A. This is for part A. So here we go. Now x equals 3 minus 4t and y equals 2 minus 3t. I have it in the table everywhere, as you could see, for the convenience instead of st uh, keep looking up for the x value and the y value. And also for the convenience, as I said, I started with negative 1 all the way to 2 for the t value, for the parameter. So, when t equals negative 1, I have x equals 3 minus 4 times negative 1, which is 3 plus 4, and that is 7. When t equals 0, that's 3 minus 4 times 0, which is 3. And when t equals 1, 3 minus 4 times 1 is 3 minus 4, and that is negative 1. When t equals 2, that will be 3 minus 4 times 2, which is minus 8, and that simplifies to negative 5. Now let's go to the y values y values when y equals when t equals negative 1 I have 2 minus 3 times negative 1 which is 2 plus 3 and that is equal to 5 next 0 is not going to take time to finish and that will be 2 when it's 1 t equals 1 2 minus 3 times 1 that is 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. And finally, 2 minus 3 times t equals 2. That will equal 2 minus 6, which is negative 4. So, when t equals negative 1, I have x equal 7 and y equals 5. You could see it right here. When t equals negative 1, I have x coordinate equals negative 7 and y coordinate equals 5. So to graph this, we will do the following. 7 and 5. Somewhere right here on the graph. That's my starting point when t equals negative 1. Next, when t equals 0, I have 3 and 2. 3 comma 2. That is right here. Uh, next, when t equals 1, x equals negative 1 and y equals negative 1. That is right here. And finally, when t equals 2, x equals negative 5 and y equals negative 4. Negative 5, negative 4, down right here. Let's graph it with a different color starting at this point and connecting all the way down to this point. The arrow is clearly going down because we started at x equals 7 and y equals 5. That is what we have. Let's add more to it. That's t equals negative 1, and that's t equals 0. This right here is t equals 1, and finally t equals 2. 
that should do it i do have a link for uh the graph in geogebra down below but let's go over part b first part b eliminate the parameter to find the cartesian equation of the curve so we could use substitution here and merge them together and write them as an x and y without t so here we go for the first equation we have x equal 3 minus 4t let's solve for t i could switch between negative 4t and x will make 4t positive and we'll have 3 minus x or 4t equals minus x plus 3 divide by 4 uh, both sides i get t equals negative 1 fourth x plus 3 over 4 that is the t value we will have this value for t goes here and gets replaced replacing this t in y so now y equal 2 minus 3t which is 2 minus 3 and instead of t we're going to write what we found the value for it which is negative 1 fourth x plus 3 fourth that is this part right here instead of t as a substitution to finish it we have y equals 2 plus 3 fourth x minus 3 times 3 fourth that's 9 fourth combining the constants 2 is 8 over 4 so you could have a common denominator that is 3 fourth x minus 1 fourth 8 fourth minus 9 fourth is minus 1 fourth or or you could write it as 3x minus 4y equals 1 if you multiply both sides by 4 so that is our equation y equal let's write it in a different color so this right here will give me y equal 3 fourth x minus 1 fourth clearly you see the y intercept negative 1 fourth and a slope positive 3 fourth okay that should do it for part b but as, as i mentioned we need to go and see the graph in geogebra let's take a look now we have it let's bring it down right here and move this a little bit to the right so we could see the details and start the slider all the way from negative one to two that's my t value as you could see from negative one to two and the first point is seven comma five by moving it you could see that's moving down we see the y-intercept negative uh, one-fourth and that's the direction it's going down if you start from the start point this is my start point seven five and this is my last point when t equals two I have negative five negative four and that should do it